What is up, guys? We are Seeking, Seeking Spirits. Spirits, and tonight we are at the New Egypt Museum we in are. New Jersey. This place holds many, many crazy artifacts with tons of energy. Um, very old building, got a lot of different kind of vibes going on in it. Yeah. Um, tonight we are going to start off the investigation by going into this place one at a time. We've never done this before, so this is going to be the first time we've ever done this. I'm thrilled. She's so excited. <laughs> We're going to draw out of a hat and see who goes in first. We're all going to come in and we want to get, the goal is to get a vibe check because since we don't know a whole lot about this and the whole building's on it, we kind of want to see where the activity starts tonight. So you. when we come in, we're going to try and figure out where the best place to start will be. And yeah, that's just where we're going to start from here. How are you feeling, Lex? Like I want to punch you in the throat. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. So <laughs> here goes nothing. All right. I'm locking you in the basement later. It doesn't lock, so. Oh. Oh, your face is in the way. <laughs> no, it doesn't lock. It doesn't lock, okay? He's zooming in on the lock. It doesn't lock. <laughs> the only thing that's going to be locking is me. <laughs> Phenomenal. If you don't follow us on TikTok, make sure you're following us. You can be catching these lives where we do investigations every now and again. We'll leave you lonesies and get some vibes going, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Three pieces of paper. Putting everyone's name on them, and we're going to draw them to see who comes in by themselves first. The objective is to come in, walk the building, vibe check, so we can see where the activity is, where we should start. Okay? Mm -hmm. She's not happy about it. I feel like this is rigged, and... Crust. <laughs> I feel like this is rigged. How is this rigged? It's rigged. Pre start to the actual night, vibe check. I want to punch my brother in the throat. Other than that, I want to punch my brother in the throat. <laughs> Pre start to the night, vibe check. Uh, I got a little bit of a headache because my teeth have been killing me this week because I don't have dental insurance. Um, but I did have a nice chicken parm sandwich that was made on a brilliant homemade garlic knot. So, um, I'm feeling well nourished and ennied up. And I'm not talking enema, I'm talking energy. Pink lemonade, baby. But yeah, I'm excited to see what happens. We don't really, I kind of like it when we go to places when we don't know a ton and it's not like super, super well like documented. So here goes nothing. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right, ready? I don't think you should be able to pick. I won't. You can pick. I'm not picking anything. You you put your hand in and pick. I'm not rigging any. We're all going in. No, we're not. What do you mean? <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. You cannot back out of this. Uh, to be fair, she didn't agree shit in the first place. Yeah, you. I never agreed to. However, it. let's just continue with it. The moment of truth. <laughs> if it says me, I'm not doing it. <laughs> Nick. What else does it say? I fart. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're going to see who's going. So I'm going first, of course. I'll go first. All right, so who is going second? Do you want to pick? We'll let you pick. You folded them up, so I feel like you know what I have no like. clue, and it really doesn't matter. It does matter. Lexi. At least you don't go in first. Because then, like, I if if the scary shit's going to happen, it's me. I wonder what this one says. <laughs> <laughs> any bets? Any bets? Any bets? Crust. So, so first up is Nick. Second up yep. is Lexi. Mm -hmm. Third up is your boy. Ooh. All right, Nick. We're going to head to the car and let the two people who are not in the building sit in a nice warm car while the other person... Uh, walks around and gets scared so all right wow so you guys are gonna be nice in this comfy warm car with heating and i'm gonna go in by myself so if they want to you know punch someone in the b-hole it's probably gonna be me if they punch you in the b-hole i'm not going in <laughs> all right well here goes nothing i'm gonna take a couple drs walk around the building and see if i can uh get the vibe so i'll see Play. you guys in like 15 20 i don't know bye bye, bye that's it cool. 
So we have never done something like this before. So this should be interesting. Like I said, never done anything like this before. The only lights that are on are just in our, in, in here, in this uh, base camp kind of setup we got going on in here. This is like a newer section of the building. So it's not as like active because it was built later. Here goes nothing. It's already creepy. Always walking around in haunted buildings with mannequins. Just gonna walk into some rooms and listen up and see if I hear anything. I'll probably take a couple DRs in a minute. All right, so anybody in this house, I just wanted to introduce myself. My name is Nick. I come with nothing but peace and love. My sister Lexi and Dustin are in the car. They're gonna come in by themselves in a few minutes too. We just wanted to come in and tell you that we, you know, we're here with nothing but the utmost respect and we wanna communicate with you, share your story to the world. Anything you wanna tell us, feel free to. You're more than welcome to interact with us. That's what we came here for. If you startle us, I'm sorry. It's because we can't see and hear you most of the time. I'm gonna walk around and if you could help me out by letting me know where you are making some loud noises and stuff or trying to talk to me, I'd love that so we can figure out where we need to start our investigation. But I'm gonna walk around. Yeah, just give me some signs. I think that sounds the heater. Still nice and creepy though. Is anybody in here with me? Hello? Well, it is dark. I have my uh, flashlight on me, but I'm not using it at the moment. Might have to bust it out so I don't bust my ass though. I'm not gonna lie, this is the room I'm probably the most intrigued about. Just because um, the fact that it's named Alice right here, this room's dedicated to Alice. Um, we've got a lot of that name over the past weekend. So it's making me think maybe we're being called to here. Hello? Is anybody here? I think I'm gonna sit down for a second and take an EVP. See if maybe I can get some guidance from the spirits on where to start. Well, that's kinda of creepy in here. I heard something. Is there anybody up here with me? If there is, could you come as close as you can to this silver box in my hand and let me know what part of the house that we need to go to to communicate with someone? Is there anybody up here with me? Oh, what is that? Is there anybody up here with me? Something at the end there. I'm gonna listen back to it one more time because there's definitely some stuff there. I'm not quite sure to be honest. I think I'm gonna do one more in here, just an open mic for just a second. And then I'm gonna go upstairs and talk to a live for a few minutes and uh, maybe do an EVP or two in there. 
That's weird. Thought I heard some movement. All right, let's do an open mic. Three, two, one. All right, let's see. Hmm. Not a ton. Definitely some chatter, but not a ton. Let's listen back just one more time, just close to the mic so we can see if we can hear it. It's like almost like a full sentence. I just don't know if I can make out any of it. So I'm going to go upstairs to the attic and meet the live for a minute. It's so weird looking into all these building, all these rooms and seeing like the mannequins. That's honestly the scariest part. That shit's spooky, dude. I gotta be careful not to hit my head when I go up here. What is up, people? It's a human, not a ghost. Don't put me down for cardio. Sheesh. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do an open mic night. I'm gonna put it right in this entrance going into the back part of the attic. We'll see if we get anything. Three, two, one. All right, we're gonna listen back to this uh, with the live here. If you don't already follow us on TikTok, make sure you follow us because sometimes when we go to locations and investigate and we have a lot of time, we'll put uh, the live going for you to investigate yourself on live. So definitely make sure to follow us. Everyone's in there having a good time. Having a good night. Shout out, Creston. All right. Definitely says something, I just don't know what. Let's listen a little bit closer. Huh, I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna do uh, one more. If there's anybody in this entire house, I invite you to come up here. I have a little silver box in my hand. I'm gonna press record on it in just a minute. And if you can tell me what your name is, Maybe tell me something you want to tell us. Tell us where we should go in the house. We just came here to learn your story and share it with the world. So I'm going to go ahead and hit record in three, two, one. Is there anybody up here in the attic with me? All right, let's see. Listen again a little bit closer. There's definitely something at the beginning. Yeah, definitely a lot of talking, but I can't really make out what it says. So everywhere I've been so far, I've got a lot of mumbling, a lot of talking and chatter, but nothing solid yet. So we're going to go down to the last place that I haven't been yet, which is the basement, and do an EVP real quick. And then I'm going to go back out to the car, and it's someone else's turn. Okay, guys. Someone else will be back up here in a little bit, okay? Have fun. Don't get too scared. Bye. Oh, man. These stairs are treacherous. That was weird. It's probably the stairs... Like just settling behind me, but I'm not gonna lie, it kind of sounded like someone was coming behind me. Okay. That smells like cigarette smoke down here, which is weird. None of us smoke, and it didn't smell like that before. It's kind of interesting. Okay. Back in the gear room where it's actually lat. Haunted lats and down to the basement, ominously marked with the Jersey Devil, twice. Why?
lock this. Don't tell them it locks, because they might try to lock me in here. Okay. Not a fan. Not a fan. Beware. That's for goddamn sure. I am in the basement alone. I'm gonna bust out the DR60, see if we can get any responses and see who's down here potentially. All right, hello, so my name's Nick. You might've heard me introducing myself earlier upstairs. I'm here with my sister, Lexi, and her husband, Dustin, my brother-in-law. Okay, that heater kicked on and scared the shit out of me. Oh my goodness. All right, I, I'm still gonna try. Jesus, that's so loud, that scared me. I'm still gonna try DR60. Um, Hopefully that heater will stop in a second. Maybe I'll go into here, so it's a little further away. It's the scarier part, but we gotta do what we gotta do, right? Hello. I mean nothing but respect coming into your space. I know that you don't like it when people come in and, you know, kind of have the wrong idea about you or don't believe you're here. I believe you're here. And um, I just want to know your story, know more about you, and... See if you're willing to communicate. I'll share anything you want me to share with the world because uh, I'm sure it's not great feeling misunderstood. So I'm gonna go ahead and just hit record. I have this little silver box in my hand. All you have to do is just walk up to it and talk to it. I'm sure you probably understand how it works. Uh, people come here all the time. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit record in three, two, one. If there's anybody here right now, could you tell me what your name is as loudly and clearly as you can into this device in my hand? I'm gonna come back down here in a few minutes with my sister and Dustin, and we're gonna try and talk to you. Actually, not a few minutes, probably a few hours. And then later tonight, I'll probably come back down by myself to try and chat with you again, okay? So if there's anything you want me to think about, and maybe try and figure out what I wanna to talk to you about later, let me know right now. I appreciate you communicating with us. All right, let's see. Okay, so the beginning, there was some chatter, and it sounded like maybe we got a name. It's a little bit hard to understand. I appreciate you so much for talking to my recorder. It helps me hear you better. It still was a little bit um, uncertain. I'm still a little bit uncertain about what it said. I'm going to listen back and see if I can, you know, tell. It's hard kind of on the fly to, to hear you. It's definitely hard in real time to hear you. Still hard with the recorder. The recorder helps. I'm sorry if we don't quite grasp what you're saying tonight, but we're going to try our damnedest to communicate with you and help you get your story across and, you know, set your record straight and get any message you want across. So let me just listen back and see if I can hear what you said there. You can definitely hear something there. It's just kind of hard to determine what it says. Yeah. It's like a that's like a first and last name. Like I just can't I can't make it out. I'm going to give you one more chance to try and say your name a little bit clearer. I know you're trying and I really appreciate it. It's just there's some type of disconnect between whatever realm, dimension you're in, whether it's here with me on, on this plane of existence or another, it's kind of hard to communicate with you, but we're gonna try our best. So I'm gonna see if I can ask for your name one more time. And then like I said, we'll be back down here in a little bit to talk to you some more, okay? Okay, let's see. Can you tell me what your name is as loud as you can and as clearly as you can into this device right here in three, two, 
one, I'm not gonna lie, when I was, before I hit record when I was talking, I got chilled out a whole bunch. So I'm wondering if I kind of felt the difference in in the atmosphere, you know, like when he, when he, whoever it was came through, I'm not sure exactly who it is yet. We're trying to figure that out, but let's see if maybe we got a clearer name this time around. They're trying so hard. I just, it's just not quite enough. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that maybe the reason I can't hear you too much yet is because maybe you need to just gain a little bit of energy to be able to, you know, talk a little bit clearer. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure it takes a lot out of you trying to communicate with the other side. Um, it takes a lot of us trying to communicate with the other side. So I completely understand. So um, I, I just want to thank you again. I heard footsteps upstairs. Okay. I just want to thank you again for trying to communicate with me as hard as you can. I really appreciate that. We're going to be back down in a little bit here. So until then, um, yeah, well, I'll see you in a bit. Okay. Thank you so much. You can definitely feel a presence down here. You can just feel the shift a little bit in here. Oh God. And when you like, it's, it's like you can feel it when you like cross this threshold too, which is interesting. It's always interesting like how like doorways are like, I don't know, like can like change the energy of where you are and stuff like that. Anyway, that is my solo walkthrough of New Egypt Museum. I'm going to go to the car. Lexi's supposed to be up next. We'll see if she chickened out. If she does, then Dustin will be up next. But someone's coming in here alone because I ain't going to be the only one to do it. So... Let's go. <laughs> Sup, dude and dudette. It wasn't too bad, honestly. I definitely got some like talking on the DR60. Mm -hmm. I left it on the table in there if anyone wants to use it when they go in. I didn't get anything like super, super loud. A little, actually, the name, like a name in the basement was a little loud, but I couldn't make it out. It was just really like a lot of volume to it. it. Didn't sound angry or anything. The vibes weren't like weird, but they were like, I could feel it was there's something there. So, right. Nothing. Well, uh, there was just a. Nice loud little knocky knocky. You sure it wasn't me opening the door? We were we were watching. Who's up next? What is that, Lexi? <laughs> you got this shit. You don't even have to go into the basement or attic. I mean, you don't have to do anything you don't want to do. Clearly. I'm not gonna. I'm a strong, independent woman who can make my own decisions. Yeah, I'm not gonna pull a Dakota. Yo, I'm so proud of you right now. I'm gonna come sit up front. If you want the flashlight to have it for backup. You throw it at someone. Any okay. You'll be look. I didn't. It, there's definitely. I mean, there's obviously ghosts in there, but it wasn't <laughs> like it, it. It didn't seem bad. It didn't seem bad. Okay. All right. I'm proud of you. Sure. You guys. Jokes on him, because I'm just gonna go in here and eat snacks. <laughs> 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 Ow! Fucking shit! That's a heavy door. For like. Legit, no reason. Cry myself to sleep a little. I think what's messed up is that, like, if I have this turned on me so that I can see it, then <laughs> the light's in my face. I think I should turn on the lights. All right, well, first of all, bye. Bro. What the fuck is that noise? I hope that's the heater. Okay, I think that's just the heater, but I could be wrong. Maybe I should like. Please, please be nice to me. If you guys
please don't subscribe, I swear. Alright. This room here is intriguing to me. Oh. Little knock in there. I don't like it. I didn't bring the DR60, I didn't bring anything, I just came up here. <sighs> okay, so there's definitely some steps down there. I should probably ask them to do something, but <laughs> uh, don't really want to do that. So I kind of, I don't even kind of want to go back down. I'm a little nervous. Uh, if there's anybody here with me, please be nice. Um, also, if you could touch that bear, that would be pretty sick. Just nobody's ever touched it, and I would probably cry a little. But like in a good way, but also scared way. So maybe just, just do a tap on that. Also, this camera is really heavy. I'm just the talent, guys. I don't hold the camera. All I have to say is... <laughs> I don't really live up um, smash the like button. Oh, there's definite talking down there. I'm gonna throw up. Okay. I gotta go now, guys. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I'm done now. <laughs> that was enough for me. Congratulations. You're welcome, Nick. I'm definitely not going down there. Okay. Got a blast. God damn, that's bright. Fuck. There was like some fucking <laughs> loud ass fucking shuffling. Like right behind me on the stairs. I was like, okay, I'm fucking done. <laughs> Love you. Love you, bye. Bam, 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 bam. All right, babies. It's a little fuck. All right. Sorry, I had to off the light there. A little crustini on the track, you know what I'm saying? Fucking doing the damn thing or whatever. Don't really know what I'm doing. I'm not going to DR60 because I don't really know how to DR60. I'm not a doctor, you know what I'm saying? Doctor, doctor, give me the news. I got a bad case of loving you. Um, first and foremost, uh, let me go and apologize. Nicholas, um, I have to pee, so... I'm going to turn you all off for a second so I can go pee real quick. All right, so I think we're going to start in the basement because Nicholas stopped in the basement, so I figured this might be the better of the start. Not better, but, like, I'll reverse what he done, essentially. My plan was to use the infrared down here. However, I have to change the lights and all that. So I'm not going to be doing that. But we're starting off down here. Get a little vibe check going. Going to check it all out first because... Yeah. So this is the area where they say people have been harmed. Um, this is where they say they get a lot of activity. There's hella chairs. So I guess people really just be vibing down here.
I'm gonna set you up on whatever this thing is. And we're gonna hang out down here for just a second. The bucket for the day. And Seeking Spirits merch, SeekingSpirits.com, SeekingSpirits.com. Buy our merch, help us out, support the channel, it'll help us do a big thing. Excuse me, that wasn't a ghost. So, uh, I do apologize, immediately, first and foremost. Um, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, I do have thought you. Sound like something literally just moved. And like, with how bright this, bright this is, I can't see behind you guys, so that's kind of unfortunate. Honestly, I can't really see much, because it's so bright. Good evening, or day, night, whatever it may be for you all. We don't know. For us, it is evening. It's like 8 p.m. currently. Um, my name is Dustin. I go by Crustin pretty frequently. I try to bring the good vibes, good energies. We all know that all of us come in here with nothing but peace and love. Don't mean any harm. We want to try and communicate with you guys. Heater. And we just want to talk, communicate, maybe get signs of evidence of life after life, or what is the afterlife. I don't really know how to word what I'm trying to say, but you know what I'm trying to say. So if you guys could, please give me a sign. Audible, visual, touch, no harm, please. I'm going to give you the floor. So I think for a second what I'll do while I'm down here is I'm going to shut off the light and go infrared for a second. Um, I know Nick said that it, if I can't see nothing on the monitor, then I'll go ahead and turn it back immediately just so, uh, you know, you guys can actually some, see something in the video. But I figure I might as well give it a shot, you know. Infrared on. Light off. Oh, yeah, no, you can't see shit. Okay, well, with the lights off, I'm going to go real quick. If there's anyone down here, could you please give me a sign? Where's the light? There it is. Okay, let's take it off of infrared because that does not work with no light. All right, guys, let's go ahead and move on. Um, thank you, spirits, for being a part of this. Is that a cowball? There's some cowballs just chilling right there. Now we're gonna move on to the second floor, and well, I guess we could stay on the first floor just for a quick little minute. I know Steve was saying that he got some stuff. I think he should be able to see. Yeah, you can see a little bit. If there's anyone in here in this room that would like to communicate, my name is Crustini. I would greatly appreciate if you guys could show me some signs of life and let me know that you're here. Um, I would greatly appreciate it. Viewers would probably appreciate it, you know what I'm saying? It'd be a cool little thingy thing, you know what I'm saying? If you could, please just uh, show me some signs. So the heater's kicking off. It sounds like there's some shuffling. I don't think it's the heater, because like I said, it's, it's turning off right now. But that is interesting, timing-wise. It's a little, a little spooky, potentially. Can't see shit. So in this room, we do have... I mean, I was super, obviously, drawn to the military stuff, because as you know, Christine's in the Usnavi currently. So here we go. No, you can't see shit. Okay, so that rattling is for sure the heater. We're going to go on up to the second floor and see what we can get. Little bear's a little, a little creepy little bear. Dang. I really messed up by not bringing some kind of infrared. That way I could go lights out. So this room intrigues me because... If you know, I am from the Veal. The gentleman in here was a horse carriage racer, and he freaking slayed the house down boots with all of his awards and shit. So that's pretty cool. Maybe, maybe him and I can talk because Churchill Downs, baby. You know what I'm saying? They'd be racing horses, not carriages, but maybe, maybe back in the day. I don't know. I wasn't there. Stanley, if you're here tonight, my name is Creston. Um, we're trying to. Trying to document some things, trying to see if maybe we can get some evidence of life after life. I'm going to let you have the floor. 
you want to give a sign that you're here, we would greatly appreciate it. All right, that's where we go. Thank you, Stanley. All right, live coming upstairs. Go. Is that a flip? There is some super high pitch. Kind of sound like a voice. Like it sounds like Lexi. Lexi downstairs. That was weird. Like, was it a floorboard? They're not squeaking like that. That was all right. Well, that's cool. Oh, almost tripped. What is going on, gangsters? Um, so, Lexi, I can see that you're commenting in there, so that means that you're not in here, which is kind of weird because as I was walking out of old man Stanley's room, my dog heard a, a woman's voice, potentially. I'm not going to say it was, but like maybe it was a floorboard, but it was super high pitch, and it didn't sound like a floorboard. And kind of wild, you know what I'm saying? Kind of cool. But I was hoping to hear Stanley, so very unexpected. Think skinny. It is hella cold over here. Oh, step on that. Hello, any and all spirits. The name is Crustini. I'm here to communicate with you. Well, I would I would like to. If you would like to communicate with me back, um, I'd really appreciate it. We're here to tell your story, or maybe to get answers about the afterlife, or just, you know, maybe just interact in general. Maybe you're tired of all those questions and you want to just hang out, which is fair. If you would like to communicate with me, if you could give me some sort of sign, whether it be move something, talk to me, touch me, please don't harm me, um, whisper in my ear, I'd greatly appreciate it, and I'm going to leave it be. It sounds like there's like a, like the same sound of like a squirrel on a roof. Cause like a little bit of shuffling, but. If that was you, could you make it just a little bit louder? That way I know it was and I could tell you thanks, I guess. All right, well, on that note. Second floor, if that was a voice that I heard, um, just know I thank you tremendously and I hope that we can get further signs of communication. It would seriously mean the absolute world to me. And everyone, honestly. We appreciate that. So, see you in a little bit. Hi. Hi, my people. How was it? Fun. Slay, queen. <clears throat> you did so good. <laughs> I started off in the basement and I went up. Yeah, that basement was the basement. Weird? Not really. No. Honestly, the only thing that I feel like might have happened was I do, I really do feel like I heard a voice on that second floor. Yeah. It just said Alex. Spirit talker just said Alex. And none of us are fucking rolling. Uh, I'm rolling. Holy shit. Uh, it, we are literally setting up. We're going to put the Jackery <laughs> upstairs so the live doesn't die. And the spirit talker just said Alice. And if y'all don't recall, that room right there is dedicated to Alice. And we've been getting Alice night after night after night. Yep. <laughs> what if that's the voice I heard? It probably it was. Be, yeah. <laughs> it's getting haunted. Why don't you give us just a little bit of a lowdown? We're literally about to start. Like, we came in solo already, did our walkthroughs. Yeah. We we're setting up. And um, as we're setting up, well, first of all, right before, so, okay, it said Alice. We've been getting the name Alice for the past few nights, and also there is a room dedicated to Alice upstairs. Yep. Um, but right before it said Alice, it said, see me, and now that I'm thinking about it, Steve saw a shadow in Alice's room, so that's interesting. And uh, it just says, need help. It just said need help, oh. um, but before that it said portal. Hmm. So. Was the first thing it said Steven? 
Steven. Steve saw her. Oh, true. That's my point. Yeah, yeah. Holy shit, that's kind of crazy. Bruh. Bruh. Yeah. Wow, okay, so we're, gonna, we're on the first floor here. We're gonna set up a few things, see if anything pops off on this first floor. This is where we're gonna start, so here goes nothing. It said beware. Yeah. Airplane mode is on, and I'm gonna go ahead and put the new Spotted Ghost Bell app on, because we had a lot of fun with that last night. Spirit Bell, give it a download, it's pretty cool. Give it a second to breathe. Huh. Oh. What? Take a seat. Got it. <laughs> Got it, dude. You know us, don't you? We all, we like to sit down. Pepper squad. We have, we've been told by Spirit Talker to take a seat. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're gonna do. Hello. I know we introduced ourselves a little bit earlier, but uh, we'll do it again. I'm Nick. I'm Lexi. I'm Crustin. Well, Crustini on the track, if you will. Yeah. Bucket hat era. We're here with nothing but peace, love, and respect. Yes. We just want to talk to you, learn more about you. You've got some devices out. I've got one in the middle of the stairs here. If you touch, it'll just make it bell go off. Got this red light here with an end painter. Um, and if you touch that, the, close. <laughs> <laughs> the lights will go off and make some noise. Mm -hmm. And we have a music box in there. Did that calibrate? It did. Okay. If you're here with us, could you give us a sign? That's the heater noise, right? The rattling is because yeah. these are baseboard heaters. Could you make a loud knock on the wall or a door? Oh, did you hear that? There's a knock. Yeah. What's that device? We'll go through them again here. So these are just cameras. Mm -hmm. With lots of mics. With lots and mics. I know it seems weird and silly that we have all these things out and we're sitting here on the floor trying to talk to you, but we can't see you or hear you most of the time um, unless, you, unless you're really loud or use a lot of energy. So these devices help us figure out where you are. Anybody in the entire house wants to come down here and talk to us, you're more than welcome to. Just come on downstairs. Noise. Is that walking? Yes. Come on downstairs. Spectre. Are we gonna see you? You said see me earlier. Or were you talking about when our friend Steve saw you? Or maybe we do a couple BR60. Yeah, and maybe we... We do need to go to Alice's room. That's gonna be like a big thing, I think. Yeah, I think I should do Estes in there. You think? Okay. Yeah. So uh, this device I pulled out here is just a voice recorder. And when I press record, it just helps us hear your voice. If you can talk, if you can see me, I'm not sure if you can. This right here is the mic. So if you can get as close to it as you can, and as clearly as you can, say anything you want to tell us in three, two. He's dangerous. One. Three, two, one. Oh. I heard talking like a, f a female voice. Oh. Yeah, like right behind my ear. I didn't hear because whenever I whenever I had heard, like it sounded like it literally was like right like right here. It almost sounded to <clears> me <throat> like really. How do I describe this? You know what it would it would almost sound like. If I was trying to shout my very loudest, but I'm like so far away, and it's... We are watching you all. We know. I, I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah. Alright, let's see. If, let's just let's ask if Allison's here. Alice. Alice, sorry. Hello. Uh, we were wondering if by any chance Alice was down here with us right now. Did Lexi just hear you talking? There's that energy. Who is dangerous? Can you tell us who's dangerous? Three, two, one. Do you not hear that? Mm, it's so hard because I have the heater thing in here doing noises to me it left and right. It sounds like somebody like singing, getting ready to me, and I'm like getting that visual in my head. That's interesting. Just a quick intermission and get batteries. See and where to go next. I mean, we could go into Alice's room. I think we should. And do an Estes. Yeah, I think we should. Okay. All right, we'll be right back. We're going upstairs into Alice's room because we got Alice on the Spirit Talker for like the fourth time. All right, guys, we are going to set up for Estes method in here in a second. Stay out the woods. Stop. No way. Yes. Who is trying to prevent us from going into the woods? I literally have no idea. Guys, we've investigated three places back to back to back. Oh. All night, every night, we've been warned to not go into the woods. That's crazy. We are tr we don't know what to make of it. Is it going off? Yeah. All right. Um, that entire time it was. It was calibrating when you said calibrate, but after that everything's been... Okay, I'm gonna put this on the desk here. Okay. Thank you. I wonder if that's seeing our reflection in the thing. I don't think so. Let's step in the room real quick. <laughs> the bell just went off. Oh shit. <laughs> the bell. The bell just went off too. Oh, again? Yo. the bell went off again. Yeah, hold on. Let me see if this. I uh, might need to move this. Yeah, it's us. This this is us. So let me put this somewhere that it's not gonna be us. That's like my salt. name is Ethel. No, Ethel. I think like because when I was stepping on by that dresser, I was doing it. So I'm gonna put it on maybe. Well, we're not gonna be stepping over there though. Like on that side. And that's like a marble I guess, top, yeah. so it shouldn't, it shouldn't um, okay. budge, really. I'll put it over here. Thank you so much for the music box. We appreciate you. Music box be a vibe. Y'all, y'all, you know. All right, so I put the... Turn that off. Yeah, I think we're going to have to turn it off. It just won't stop. Unlawful. Unlawful. Why? It just said jail downstairs again yeah. and unlawful. Dude, I think something from Mid Orange is being... It's weird. That whole night know. has been ingrained in my fucking brain. <laughs> okay, so I want to disclaim this by saying I don't know if if this is in my head. I don't know if it's really happening. You're not sure what to make of it, but it sure as hell feels like something. But, um, 
yeah, so for a long time, for my whole life, I've been able to, like, know when people are going to die. I knew when both my grandparents were going to die. Well, three of my grandparents. I knew that my dad was going to die. Um, I've seen things. I've heard things. I've had a lot of dreams. We're downstairs just now. And... I hear, and I'm like, it's kind of loud to me, so I'm looking at them like, you guys aren't hearing this. Like, why are, Why is nobody reacting? And it sounds like older music, and like, I can see, not physically in front of me, in like my mind's eye, somebody like dancing around, almost in front of this mirror. And... Joe. Joe. And brushing their hair and like singing and I'm like so I like point and I'm like you guys aren't hearing this all of a sudden a girl yelling at me and she's like wait you can hear me and she's like you can hear me and then she's like I see your light and then I was just like I don't know what to do well that's interesting too because you've been told before that like a lot of sight or like this mediums and stuff say like people see people with psychic gifts and medium gifts as like beams of light. Like yeah. you have a beam of light coming from you because it's like a, it's almost like that scene in the conjuring. I don't know if you remember like, or the, is it the conjuring? Or... Maybe let's not compare it to that. No, 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 no. They, it was like a depiction of like, I don't know if it was the conjuring. Ah, what was that? Murder. Oh, ah. I don't know. It was an insidious, but there, she walked into a, like, it was like a foggy, misty like realm mm -hmm. but you could see light like from somewhere and it's yeah. almost like i don't know if they can see they can like pick you out from a crowd so i don't know i mean you never know we really don't none of us know how this works you're just kind of telling us what's happening in your head you know i know people want to be funny about psychics and mediums and stuff like that but what more can you do other than just tell us and like we can just have our own judgment of what it is you know and i don't know that's crazy though that, that seems like the clearest one you've had in, in recent years, yeah. Yeah. I've had crazier ones than that, mm -hmm. but not in at least, like, six years. Wow. Maybe seven. Okay. Lexi's going under. We're in Alice's room. You want to... And in 1860 census, a 21-year-old servant named Alice Appleby. Born in 1839. How are you? How are you? We're good. How are you doing? Just trying to see if there's anything... It's like you. You. you may, it says listen carefully and you may too hear forward he was so some say that a 21 year old farm laborer named george bell was living on the farm at the same time as alice he was called away to war in 1861 while massachusetts became uh, while in massachusetts he became ill and passed away oh do you think that she is still here waiting i think i'm her? getting touched on my leg bro really what the fuck hmm, i feel like i need somebody to stand over here Hello, um, Alice or anyone else who might be in here. Play. Uh, my name's Nick. I know you've probably heard me introduce myself a couple times. I just want to be sure, just in case you weren't in here before. This is Lexi here. She's got some headphones hey. on. Hey. This is Dustin, a little crustini on the track back there behind the camera. So Lexi's got a little device in her hand that just goes through radio waves, and we think it may be easier for you to talk through them. So if you could come up to Lexi and maybe talk through her it is it is is it Alice or is it maybe saying like it is easier to homemade so is Alice here with us right now I made I wonder if she's like talking about like something dress I wonder if she made them did you make these dresses Alice it might have said like mother or something like that but it kind of cut off be interested to know if like one of these dresses is her and she hers and she actually made it a friend a friend we are a friend we're here with nothing but peace and love we just want to chat with you we don't mean any harm feel free anyone in the house alice anyone else you're free to come and speak with us that's what we came here for i've got uh, a little light on the dresser here if you touch it it'll make just a bell noise it'll help me know if you're in here if you'd like you could touch that or you could tell lexi anything you want to tell you remember her. Remember what? Me. Women. 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 Do you 
you remember you. We've been getting out all weekend. Like, did, like, I've been yeah. Do you remember me? Did, you, did we talk to you? Bell just... Hello. <gasps> said hello right as the bell went off. Hi, Alice. We... Tomorrow. We do think we remember you. We, we spoke to you. I got chills. We, we, uh, we think we might have been speaking with you this weekend. Did you know we were going to come here? Constantly. Can you set that bell off again if you've um, been talking to us this weekend? Besides tonight? Kill. Don't like that. It's like very faint. It keeps saying a lot of things, but not a lot of them are clear. If you need to, we actually have this big battery pack on the ground down here. It's black and orange, gray and orange. Um, it's got some cords hooked up to it. If you're able to use some of the energy from that, you're more than welcome to. Like mine? Would you be able to tell Lexi your name just to confirm it's you, Alice? Chosen. You. Listeners. That's kind of interesting. Because it's like if she's been trying to contact us all weekend, she's like chose Lexi to talk to because she knew that she could hear her, maybe? Maybe, yeah. Did you choose Lexi to talk to because you knew it would be a little easier to talk to her? And if you remember, specifically, they said that the downstairs... Why? Bernadette. ...doesn't feel like it's getting necessarily listened to. Yeah. And it did say go down. I don't know. Maybe it's like a combination. Maybe Alice was like, I know that she'll be able to come talk to me and she'll be able to come talk to the spirit that's downstairs and kind of hear him more. Like you guys can listen. I lived right here. I lived right here. You. Upbringing. Tonight. What about tonight? She. It might have just said Nick. Hi. I'd love for you to come closer and talk to us. All the spirits. Yeah, all the spirits who are here are more than welcome to come talk to us. We came here to talk to you guys. I don't know if my eyes are playing tricks on me, but I thought I have like a like like low and fast. That also be right after it says Nick. Three hey. lights. Three lights. Two lights. <laughs> well, but Unless they see the phone as lights, yeah. But so you, you specifically called that the light. Yeah, that's that's true. And there's three phones. Maybe it requires. Like a, does it require energy? Is a little it, bit. Oh my god, I have chills. Do you have chills? Is it cold? Do you feel? I don't feel cold. It's not. I don't feel cold though. I just have chills. Um, it's on the right. It's on the right. Whoa. <laughs> Did it say whoa or is she woeing at something? <laughs> I'll be one thing. Appreciate you trying to communicate with us. We really do appreciate it. Is there any way you could maybe set that bell off again? You. Me what? You could try. You could try. Could try what? I'm from... Where are you from? God? The bell? God, I'm from God. Are you in what we know is like heaven, but you're A just... A skill. ...coming to visit? Which is Hi. Been tracking Hello. Well, that was like a deep male voice. Oh, do we, is there but it else sounded here? excited. What's your Struggle. name? Excited. Seven. What's Seven. Your What's your name? We'd well, love to talk to you and be able to address you by name. In this direction, maybe. It's like over there, and then in this the direction. direction. Which direction? What about over here? Spirit. Are you in here? I do know. It said it was something, but I couldn't make it out. Tired. Ugh. You tired? I'm sure. Oh. I'm sure, it's frustrating trying to communicate. We can't be over here. It's not. It's weird in here. It's not frustrating trying to communicate. It's weird. There is bad. What? What is bad? Could you please let us know? We've been hearing that all weekend. We need some guidance. Can you help us? Sleep. I heard that clear as day over here. You're saying we need to sleep? I'm upset. Why are you upset? Things are... Things are what? Look at it. What would you like us to look at? You got a bunch of cool stuff over here. Shoes. Another one. Are these your shoes here? 
A vision. She had a vision earlier. Something to believe. Did Lexi see you? I didn't you? end it. Did Lexi see you in a vision earlier? I don't know if anything is, if it's colder in the room for you guys, but it is fucking freezing for me right now. Just children. True. I, I mean, I'm until it's cold. I can feel it. Did Lexi see you in a vision Together. Earlier? Heat. Is there any way you could show yourself to me? Can you come walk through the door? Teeny. I wonder if they're talking about Lexi. <laughs> <laughs> you said that last time it said something like little. <laughs> Off? Maybe? You had. Prove. Prove. Are you trying My to. My friend. We are your friend. Like I said, we come here with nothing but peace and love. We just want to talk with you and see if. Carefully. There, maybe there's anything you'd like to share I want. with the world. What do you want? You passed me. What was that noise? Did you hear like a whistle-ish? You passed me. What was that noise? Did you hear like a whistle-ish? Yeah, it was almost like a door hinge. It was like, make yeah, it happen. Kind of, yeah, yeah my happen. wish, make it happen. What's your wish? If you tell us what it is, we might be able Slash. to... Woman something? You talking about Lexi? Anything. Beautiful. Period. Period. <laughs> so happy. I'm so happy? Are you happy that we're here to talk to you? Gorgeous. I'm not going to put you to bed. Go. Left. That was a male voice. Go left. Is there somewhere else in this house you want us to go? I'm there. Go left, I'm there. Where is left? There right. up. There up. You're left and me. Yep, yeah, the in there. Or in Stanley. Uh, I'm literally pointing over there. It says, yep, I'm there. Are we talking to Stanley right now? Hold out your hand. Okay. I'm holding my hand out. Can you, can you come touch my hand? A little countdown. Three, two, one. David? Oh, that was weird. Everything stopped and I heard, like, a gasp for air. We know. Hmm. Are you still here? Here today. Oh, it's a car driving by. I was like, holy shit. I could see, like, the, the lights in the wall. She said to try. What did she say to try? Learn more. That's what we're trying to do about trying to communicate. We want to learn more about The you. light. It's in. Do you see Lexi as a beam of light? Also, was it saying try to learn more? And was everything going on with her brain? So, yeah. she, sh her, so. Did she have the light? I remember how I died. Can't without, I, I think, point. She sounds a little odd. It's weird because it sounded like, I didn't change the sweep rate, sweep rate, but it sounded like it started speeding up. Never. Together. Never together. What that thing said, remember, she's waiting for him to come yeah. back. Like they're never together. Anymore. What was his name? Lexi. Hello. It stopped again and gasped. Definitely a woman gasping. Say, George Bell. George. So, Alice, are, are you waiting for George? Still? Well, it feels the lights. So we're probably going to pull Lexi out here in a second. I... So you have a few... Sorry. Days. Talk tonight. I talk tonight. So it is so cold around me. And then it just stopped again in like a breath. It's like cold right here. Oh, it's like freezing right here. Like we move. Different. We see. I think. Let's stay and talk to him. You can stay and talk to us. We're going to be here for a few more hours. It's the whole reason we came was to talk to you. I know this sorry. is a museum. Sorry. It said sorry on there. And yeah. she just said sorry. What this was so... God, I'm being, it's so cold in here now all of a sudden. The heat is on. The heat is on. And the house is getting noticeably warmer. 
In my opinion. Fun? It's like full chills. Is it fun? Committed. We're committed to trying to talk to you tonight. We are. The dentist. We do need to go to that. We've been talking about it all weekend. <laughs> it's yeah. so funny. I swear it's like... You wouldn't. Religious. It, it hurt when it happened. Start again. Is it like talking shit about me not going to the dentist? Because I was both, saying that. I know we were like, I don't want to go to the dentist. Yeah, and like, sure it, we we're talking like about that we're hurt. Yeah. yeah. Bad. What was that? Was that you? That, that was probably Life. me. Probably me. Lean a little bit against me. If they only knew. I'm leaning heavily. That, More, that, honey. That baseboard. I just, I mean, I'm sure you just. Yeah, I'm watching you lean on it. That baseboard. Honor. Full on clicked. I heard it. I just assumed it was me. But. Might not have been. I don't know. I just leaned against it again. Nothing. Fallen. Fallen. Honor. Maybe she's talking about. It's me. George Bell. It's me. It's you who? Is it Alice? Can you say your name to Lexi so we can confirm? The Bible. Those Bibles downstairs. Those like not like just oh there's a Bible, but it's like like crazy. Sad old. and quiet. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try and take an And it's shot. getting freezing it's around me again. You're doing it. <laughs> Trade. Should say up top how long I have them. Eighteen minutes. Okay. That was really oh, no, weird. Like Alright, I'm gonna take an EVP real quick. Spooky while she's under that. I hear you. I hear you. All right, I'm going to see. We, you might be talking to Lexi right now. I'm going to see if I can hear you through this device. So if, if you could talk to the silver box in my hand. It's an honor. No. So that does. And then it said something else, but I couldn't make it out. We're right here. It's hard. No. She can help. Her. Dude, she said she can help. Ladies. I pointed at her, and she said her. I, I think... Is Lexi helping talk? And Lexi. Here's the deal. We're going to pull Lexi out in just a second here. If you could do wow. me a favor and say your name. Her friend. Right before we pull her out, and then we'll come back and talk to you in a it's minute. It's up to you. Your teeth. <laughs> Why do they keep talking about my teeth? <laughs> It's so weird. Good morrow. Just... You gotta go. Get him. You gotta go get him. Accurate. Care of your teeth. It's not that hard. Or you gotta go get George Bell. Or damn, maybe they're, maybe they're really coming for you. Maybe. Just... Maybe they're like, cause you, uh, I'm. It's good for you. No, really. <laughs> you can eat pizza. Yo! What the? Why is this so weird? Why is the ghost trying to get us to go to the dentist? It said or a donut. And you can't have those uh, your teeth. Like health. Uh, <laughs> I know this is so it seems so silly. Winner. But like our teeth are both really jacked. And like specifically today, the right medicine. Been, like, talking about ah! oh. Sorry, my You're fine. I kinda wanted you to pull yourself. Um, your phone fell up. It's okay. No, You're my good. phone it vibrated and it's I'm about me. my 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 thing's about to die anyway. That was insane. What happened? That it was they were definitely Dude, telling me to go to the dentist. They're trying to get us to both go to the dentist. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we were I'm not even dentist. joking. I <laughs> bet crazy. you I bet you, as stupid as this sounds, Alice has been following us, knowing we were coming here for the past couple of days. We've been talking about it so much, how both yeah. of our teeth are so fucked up. We haven't been to the dentist in like fucking ten years. And she's like, you need to go. It's not that hard. You could eat pizza. You could Harry. eat donuts. <laughs> Hi, Harry. Wow. I don't know. I need to change my battery, though. What's going on? Keep yours on, and I'll go. I'll just what I can one. remember. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, that was... The bell, the bell just... You said that was a crazy thing. You said... As soon as I walked out here, it sounded like, sound like someone stepped on the stair down there. Now I'm going to get a battery. But that bell went off. Once after I was like, can you make the bell go off? And it was like 30 seconds later it went off. Oh my god. It went off twice. Yeah, I mean, that's so there crazy. was... Terrified. Oh. There was definitely like a lot going on overall. Um, I can't really remember a whole lot, but it, it was... It, that was probably, I would say, one of the more like, I feel interactive essences that like... Really? Probably like, it had the most like conversation. Because, you know, I feel like normally it's like, we'll say something and then we'll try to ask something and it doesn't sound like we actually get a response. There was a so lot. So it was making sense. Yeah. I'm gonna oh, good. Because it kind of looks like it's hurting your ass. Yeah, a little. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. But no, yeah. So like, it, like, there was a lot of stuff. And also like, you would repeat some of the stuff, not like Shall birthday. Shall I make noise? Yes, please. It was, that was definitely one of the most conversational essences I feel ever. Very few very, talk to me. 
Oh. Well, then he said, like, besides a few local teams, like, no one comes here. Yeah. So that's interesting. Well, we're happy to talk to you. What do you want to do? I'd like to sit. It's nice and comfy. <laughs> okay. Well, how about... The bell went off. Oh, the shit. The bell went out from the hallway. It's on the, it's on the stairs. The same spot where the music box was hidden. <sighs> I'm freezing. All right, so maybe we'll just do a couple EVPs and see if maybe we can get in contact with Alice or anyone else who's here. Three, two, one. Is Allison here with us right now? If you are, could you say, sure. yes, I am, into the silver boxes in our hand? Do you see Lexi as a beam of light? Are you trying to tell us to go to the dentist? Three, two, one. You go first. <laughs> That's so funny. Is Allison here with us right now? If you are, could you say, yes, I am, into the silver boxes in our hand? Do you see Lexi as a beam of light? Are you trying to tell us to go to the dentist? Not much. Is Allison here with us right now? If you are, could you say, yes, I am, into the silver boxes in my hand? So sweet. Do you see Lexi as a beam of light? thing is the dentist thing. Yeah. Well, I definitely hear yet, like like you said at the beginning, I feel like it says it, and I'm pretty sure that's what Benny was saying as well. It sounds like it says, yes, I am. I am at like, the beginning. slowly. Yeah, but. yeah it when, does. When you asked if uh, it sees me as a beam of light, I think I hear, like, it's bright or she's bright. Can we do a few more? Sorry, I stood up because I wanted okay. to show the live. It's all good, my dude. Oh, it's so funny. You know, I've, like, I don't... I don't know if we are at this point. Very serious health complications can come from your mouth. Yes. I actually saw a TikTok the other day about how somebody passed away because they got they had um, an infection in their mouth in one of their teeth. So I actually like wonder if like whoever it is is like trying to warn us so we don't get like uh. really injured or something. Yeah. That's so I know it seems so freaking silly. Mm hmm. Is there like a tooth fairy on there? Because we should put that as cool. <laughs> uh, we were, we've been talking about going to the dentist like all yep. the whole time. And I was like, on Monday, I'm going to call and make an appointment. I'm going to be a big girl. I'm going to do it. And they're like, come on, go, bitch. You need to go too. <laughs> go, bitch. Guys, we're going to start a GoFundMe for our dentist. Uh, <laughs> oh, Jesus. I need one. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's just gonna That's be, true. My mouth's jack. It's going to be, and I don't have health insurance. So it's going to be like. Many happy memories. Oh, that's good. Uh, better teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous, but let's do maybe like an open. Okay. Three, two, one. One. Open your mind. Then I also point out that you had talked about it in your last slot as well. Oh, true. Yeah. Let <laughs> you go first. Three. Nothing. <laughs> What did I say? Did I just say go to the dentist? <laughs> I swear to God, it? it says, I said go to the dentist. Look. Excuse me. What the fuck? No way. Yes. It said, I said, said go, go to, to the, the dentist. dentist. That's insane. I don't know what the end says. Wait, but it bring that here. Says, bring I that said, here. Go to the dentist. Yes, bring that here because I thought I thought I heard something. Let's listen to it again. Okay. It's important. 
it says it's important after that. It's like, it's important. Scary. Scary. Going to the dentist is scary, yes. <laughs> well, also, like, I mean, it's talking about, like, protecting last night. Yeah. But that means you have to go, too. It brought up health. Mm-hmm. And I wonder if uh, of the new Amazon uh, healthcare, if they got a <laughs> dental plan. <laughs> That's wild. That's so weird. It's so weird. Dude, maybe a dentist will sponsor us for this video. <laughs> Honestly, that going to the dentist is haunting, so maybe we could just make a video about that and then write it off. Ghost tells us to go to the dentist. So we do. <laughs> yeah. And we do. <laughs> That's crazy. What the fuck? That's actually insane, yeah. I don't think we know what y'all need to start doing. <laughs> I, 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 I am going to go to the dentist. I need to make sure I have the money, but I'm just like... I w I'm wondering if they're, like, trying to warn one of us specifically because something's about, like, it's... About to go down. Yeah. Let, is there one of us specifically that you're telling needs to go to the dentist quickly? Let us know as loudly and clearly as you can which name. We appreciate you trying to protect us. We just are having a hard time making sense of it all. I think it said Nick. I thought I heard two syllables over here. Oh, play it again. Asked me ten years ago if I thought I'd be sitting on the floor of a haunted museum talking to a ghost about my dental problems. <laughs> I'd have probably told you you're an idiot. Here we are. An idiot sandwich. If you'd have told me there was gonna be a guy standing there in a smiley face bucket hat filming me while I did it, I would have been <laughs> like, What is this world you're talking about? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Got that thing on me. You keep that Finish thing on me. We're definitely Dude. making a bucket hat um emoji for Oh, we got our first subscriber. Yeah. What? Shout out Kay. Yeah, I, I started setting it up and then I forgot to finish it. Yeah, Kay. And Kay, subscribe. <laughs> Kay, don't worry. We will make some type of uh, we'll subscriber-only Discord channel. You can go talk and, like, maybe that's where we'll run, like, polls and stuff about mm -hmm. new merch and stuff like that, maybe. Yeah, also, um, it's it's L-I-L-S because for little spooksters. Little spooksters. Just so you know. <laughs> uh, we talk to the ghosts about our dental issues. <laughs> We're trying to figure out a good midpoint for our investigation videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Yeah. <laughs> perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, guys. So that's going to be a wrap on part one of New Egypt Historical Society Museum. Yep. Um, we still have a couple of rooms in part two that we haven't even stepped foot in really and investigated in yet. Yeah, and it's freezing. But it is not freezing inside. outside. Yeah, luckily there's heat inside, but... Um, we got some very interesting, kind of funny stuff happening. Yeah, or like they were ghosts are like us. warning us about our health. Yeah, our they're like, health. go to the dentist. You can eat pizza. You can eat donuts. It's so weird. I know it sounds silly, but it's kind of been like a reoccurring theme this whole weekend. It's so weird. But yeah, there's been a few reoccurring themes. Yeah. Uh, so it's just you know an interesting night so far, and we actually don't know what. You know, next week has in store for us, but I'm yeah. sure it's going to be great. It's going to be crazy. We haven't really investigated. Too much in the attic mm -hmm. or in the basement. Yeah. And then also in Stanley's, Stanley's room. room. So yeah. we're going to do some more of that. I think we will touch in, like, go back into Alice's room a little For bit sure. more because we definitely, there's some type of connection yeah. there. And I think also Alice, I they, you know, she seems a little lonely. Yeah. And, like, not sort of like the same thing in the basement, has, how he was telling us earlier. Just maybe not so many people coming through here yeah. and they get frustrated. They don't have anybody to talk, talk to, to or they're misunderstanding them when they do. Yeah. So we want to make sure that they get heard. Exactly. So we're going to try and tackle more of that in part two. Yeah. Um, we appreciate you guys for all your support. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Share it out to your Share friends. Share it out. Do all the things. All of the things. It's all free and it helps us so much. Yes. So um, 
Make sure to stick around because right after this, you're going to see a nice little sneaky peeky of sneaky. next week and see what happens to us in the rest of the night. But we will uh, catch you guys next week, yep. Wednesday, 7 p.m. Easter ESP. Standard Timer. Standard Time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, goodbye. Well, we're cold as shit. Look at my breath. You can't see it in here. It is. It's, I'm like, I'm producing way too much air. Okay. Let's go. Bye. We're going to go. Bye. <laughs> what was that? That's the third time now that women's voices have been heard. Dustin's about to go under for Estes method. Her room. Are you talking about Alice? I feel like I just heard like a crying sound. Like faint, like sobbing. Lexi? Poor Alice. What is this place? You hear that? It's not like it said so Did you hear that? Listen to me. I'm trying to work. How can we help you? Nick, Lexi, get out of you. Trust me. Getting a really bad pain. I feel sick. I feel nauseous. Every time I come down here, I come down here three times, and every time I come down here, I feel nauseous. I know you. Do you like Satan? If you hear me scream, come down. I swear I keep seeing like a shadow of a woman with like longer hair, like peak. Oh, oh my God. Three, two, one. There was something coming into the room, Nick.